What are you doing here in Abessa? I take care of the mechs and drones here in the city, which means I coordinate and plan their maintenance and upgrades. When I'm lucky, I get to roll up my sleeves and do some of the actual maintenance, which I'm having to do quite a lot with all the technicians we're missing. Say, are you good with technology? I know enough to work on Max. You do? Maybe we could take you on in a permanent position here in the city. Do you think they would employ me? That's true. Alois has security concerns about taking anyone who's not been in the city long enough. So, yeah, maybe I should look for someone else. On the other hand, if you're looking for some part-time work, I could still use your help. I have four people I've been told I should look at for taking the technician's job, but I don't have time to gauge their abilities. Would that be something you could do for me? I'd pay you. Yeah, I'll talk to your candidates. Great. The four names I have are Daryl, Naira, Rorick, and Riley. Though I'm really not sure about Riley. There's something about him I don't trust. But speak to each of them and let me know whether you think they might have the right skills and abilities for the job. Oh, and I'll need you to let me know about their loyalties. You know, can they work with clerics? Do they hate us? We'd be trusting them with the mechs and AI that defend the Dome City. So I don't want to employ anyone who might still be thinking about their faction, not our security. About the candidates for technician. Yes? Tell me about Naira. Naira is an elb separatist, so a bit of a long shot for loyalty. But she should have the technical ability we need. She's somewhere in the west of the city with the other separatists in the slums. You want to employ a separatist as a technician? We need someone. And I don't think your faction always says who you are. Albs are usually very good with technology, but you're right. I don't know if we can trust her. Tell me about Daryl. Daryl is an outlaw. He's applied to be a technician, but I don't know why. So I want to know his motives and what his technical experience is. I'm hoping you can get that information. If he's skilled and trustworthy, then employing him might show that we do trust outlaws here. But I don't know that much about him. I don't even know where to find him. What do you know about Rorik? Rorik is a berserker. I think I last saw him somewhere around Vito's pub. It might seem weird to consider a berserker, but I was one once. And I know Rorik used to work extracting Elix from machines in Goliath, so he knows about technology. And I think I could teach him everything else that he needs to know. And it would show that we were reaching out to the Berserkers who have come to the Dome City. Their magic is very powerful, and they're strong warriors. We will need their help if the Albs attack us from Zaykor. But it'll be important to find out if he's prepared to have anything to do with technology, before we think of offering him the job. Yeah. There's nothing shards and hard work can't solve if you really want to. Yeah, yeah, if you say so. Yes, I'd heard things were rough there, too. How do we move on from here? Well, that was a serious waste of time, wasn't it? Did you come to apologize? Yes. I'm sorry. I was wrong to attack you. It would have been better if you'd realized that before you attacked me. But I'm still alive, so I won't hold a grudge. It's good of you to have apologized. Why are you here? Vivian sent me. Is it about the technician job for the clerics? Yes. I'm interested, but I'm not sure that this is the job for me. I mean, I've not had much to do with technology. 
I've tried to learn since I came to Abessa, but I'm still only just starting out. So, now you've left it, Dan. What do you think about the clerics? I'm grateful they let me in. They don't bother me, and I don't bother them. I'm not a berserker anymore. I live here. What experience do you have with technology? Well, back in Goliath, I used to take machines apart. There aren't many I've not seen from the inside. It's strange, really. My job used to be to get rid of technology, but now all I want to do is put it back together. The clerics make some incredible things. I mean, just look at the dome. That's an amazing feat of engineering. If you get orders you don't like, will you run away from here like you did from Adan? I don't know. But the clerics don't ban some people from doing some things and not others. If I want to learn about technology, they'll let me. They're the same with everyone. I've heard enough. Okay. Right. I'll see you then. Vivian sent me, about the technician job. I am without question the best candidate they will find. Therefore, selecting me is the logical choice. But I need proof that the clerics are really willing to work with me. If I am to work for the clerics, then I would like to be paid. The free people seem to value shards above all things, and so payment would be proof that they take me seriously. What are your qualifications for this job? I served as the battlefield technician for my unit in Zekor. I have already discovered errors in the AI systems of the cleric's mechs, and I would be able to modify them. Even the dome isn't running as efficiently as it could. That is another thing I could improve. Do you think you can work with the clerics? I think it would be better if this city was led by an alb or a machine. But I understand that it isn't up to me to determine this. So yes, I could imagine working with them in the existing circumstances, despite their inefficiencies. Yeah, before we drown it. Vivian sent me to talk to you about the technician's job. Yeah, good. And I'd like to apply for the job. And I'm willing to pay any price to get it. While I'm certain there must be people better qualified than me, there isn't anybody who will pay you as much as I will. How good are you with technology? Absolutely crap. I don't know one end of a screwdriver from, well, a hammer, to be honest. But I'm a fast learner. And if I have someone I can ask, then the rest won't be a problem. And did I mention the whole financially rewarding aspect of selecting me as the candidate? What do you think about the clerics? What's this got to do with the job? This job is about technical reliability. And I can assure you that I am technically reliable. And as for my interests, you can count on me being a pacifist. I want to do anything to avoid a war. And the better access I have to new information, the better equipped I'll be to ensure a war doesn't suddenly break out without anybody seeing it coming. I've heard enough. Okay. And remember to put in a good word for me with Vivian. I'll make it worth your while. Can I do something for you? the guy. Suppose I never will now. What the fuck's wrong with you? No, I'd better not.
stop your sneaking. I know who you're talking about. How many are dead now? Well, well. The fight is the only thing that matters. That makes a real man. Why are you torturing me? Quit sneaking around. I can see you. Don't mess me around, or I'll mess with you. Well, well. The fight is the only thing that matters. That makes a real man. Yes, you can say that, but you need more food first. Fucking hell. I don't know. What have you heard? Because I haven't heard anything. That's what I said. Never trusted her. Uh huh. How do we move on from here? where I can see them. About the candidates for technician. Yes? You should give the berserker Rorik the technician's job. Then you think he has the experience and that he will dedicate himself to the Dome City? Rorik will be trustworthy, but he does have something against authority. Loyalty is the most important thing. Out of all the clerics here, I'm the one who can best understand a need to buck authority. Good, right, then I hope we have our technician. Thank you for helping me with the selection. Here, your payment as promised. I'd better go and take care of my new recruit right away. This should secure us going forward. At least I hope so. <laughs> 